Good evening, everyone. Jamie here in cloudy Arizona. Looks like we're going to get a rare June sprinkle. Um, we've got rain in the area that it hasn't hit here yet, but hopefully it will. Um, this evening, I kind of want to talk about how to be resilient in the desert. Um, other than the earthworks, which you know, we put in a lot, the other main thing is collecting seeds. And looks like we're going to have another bountiful year of seeds. Um, we've got mustards, pak choy, daikons, common mallow, all of that going to seed right now. And our I guess prime time is pretty much coming to an end. This week we're going to start hitting the true desert temperatures. It's supposed to be 100 and above after the next two, two days, I think. It starts hitting 100. But I kind of wanted to show you the tails going to seed, the mustards. Everything's kind of going to seed. Now we do have new stuff coming up. Those are jelly melons. And they're spread. There's some down here. And there's some over here. We also have some of those native gourds coming up in here. Which is cool. Now, last week's video, some people made some pretty good comments about I should be throwing seeds out in this new pits we dug out there um, and they made some suggestions great suggestions sorghum um, grain corns native corns you know um, and those are all great the problem I have with it is is if I buy them I'm just basically throwing dollar bills in the wind here um, if they do come up everything's going to eat them out there I mean they won't go to seed so that's why I'm concentrating on the things that I know have grown here. Just with the, with the rain that we have, no watering needed. Now over here, of course, these kind of get watered with when I water the trees. So with any luck, as the pits go, oh, somebody's going to say, hey, I want to show you this. Be careful of your feds. That's a snake bite. Oh gee, oh gee, there got dry, dry bit. It looked like by a rattlesnake. We got very fortunate that it was a dry bite. He healed up in a couple of days, and he's on his feet now. Um, some other seeds I want to show you is these birds of paradise. And again, I've seen those growing on the side of the road, no irrigation. No nothing. So that's one I'm anxious to incorporate. Um, we have other areas that we spread those seeds out. The daikons, pak choy, dill, radishes, and stuff like that. And they've done great. Um, we've had grass come up on its own. Now if the cows came through, they would definitely eat that grass. And they would eat a lot of stuff that we have out. Um, we've also been fortunate enough that last fall we were able to collect these willow seeds and hopefully this year we'll get more of them excuse me just add some red beans and rice and <laughs> think they're trying to make a comeback <laughs> but that's why I don't plant out there just yet um, our plans are to eventually get this fenced in and that'll keep the cows out but it won't solve my problem of rabbits and ground squirrels. Not to mention reptiles. Iguanas will chew down a, a desert just as fast as a rabbit will. Um, so we take the steps as they come. And so far, we're just concentrating on the things we can control. Kind of show you everything. 
and this is probably this is after a week of straight up high 90s 97 98 99 but we haven't hit 100 so my worries about it hitting 100 before june i can put those away <laughs> um, i'm pretty happy about it but now we start getting into the hundreds so let's go take a look at some more seeds that we had come up this year now we're over here on the back side of the chicken coop again more dill um, that's all we've spread in here is dill but I wanted to show you this can y'all see those seeds those are the hybrid poplars that we have now this guy is a nice healthy tree Probably push in a good 12 feet to 15 feet. Standing strong. And ironically, this thing's only not even three years old yet. So, happy about having those seeds. Great pioneer trees. They handle the heat. They try to handle the full sun. Even as saplings, they handle the full sun. So... We're going to have those seeds. Shade garden's looking really good. Now in the main garden, we've got these guys coming up where we planted those. And those are seeds that we harvested last year um, from the, the jelly melons. Horn melons, jelly melons, whatever you choose to call them. Um, a lot of people, I've seen reviews, they don't like them. I thought they were pretty good. Like I said, it's like a, eating a a real seedy cucumber. <laughs> this is the best way that I can, with a mix of um, a melon in it. So another way to keep our resilience going is to propagate. These are ice plants that we propagated this year. Um, we have the first lane still here. And we'll propagate more of that. We found out that it really doesn't like the full sun. So we also have Luzella hibiscus coming up everywhere. Not everywhere. In about five spots. And those are seeds that we collected last year. Um, the yellow bells are going to seed. So hopefully we'll get spread those. The jelly melon, or not jelly melon, but old man melon. That's from seeds we collected last year. Oh, we're doing pretty good as far as getting stuff in the ground and then getting it spreading. Um, elephant food, again, propagation. And another one over here. And that's from the plants that we've been growing. Um, we have okra coming up nicely over here. Even though, okay, I won't say nicely, I guess. They're coming up. This is our strongest one, and it's looking good. But the other ones are kind of weakly. So I guess out of all the seeds I collected, I got one good one. So that's the one I'll take seeds off of this year. And the other thing we planted is cuckoo melons. A kind of cucumber. Um, like a plant. <laughs> um, real miniature is supposed to be able to handle the heat. We shall see. Zucchini are producing. I'm going to cut out that center one there because it's just not doing as well. We got more jelly melons where Harley's at. Harley, dog out. Got her over there hiding behind. Now this was something that came back on us last year. And that's an eggplant. And we've already had like four eggplants off of it. And there's probably at least seven on there now. Um, another thing we propagated was the 
Mexican petunia, which chickens love. We'll be able to separate this guy out. That's a Jerusalem artichoke, and we have a couple of those in the garden here. Um, next year, I'll be able to um, get clumps off of this guy. Isn't that beautiful in the wind? I mean, it's just lovely to watch. Another question I got asked is, I guess because I put the straw down, is do I really get winds here? Um, yes, you get a lot of wind. Um, at times we have tropical storm winds. And being from Florida, I know what tropical storm winds are. Um, they can reach up to 60, 70 miles an hour here. Um, right now, we got a light breeze, probably about 10 miles an hour. But we're having gusts up to 30. Um, these trees will go near sideways. Now these are a prop, um, hybrid poplars. Now that one right there, where is it? Right there. It also has seeds on it. So we should be able to get several of those in the ground. That bad boy was planted as a whip last year and it's a good 12 feet so it's a real good plant to put out here I hear some of those gusts but that's what I wanted to talk to you about was you know trying to keep stuff going and not only going but spreading and as we get more and more things that we propagate, things that we seed, we'll start spreading more and more out where we put the earthworks. So I hope that answers those questions. I hope you guys are having a good weekend and ready for the week to come. I'm getting pomegranates too. More rosella hibiscus. But with that, I'll leave you guys alone. Thank you for joining us. And we'll talk to you soon.